What's up guys, it's the only Ninja Warrior Aviators on the Superhero Hub bringing you another episode of Combat for Dummies here on the Modern Ninja Channel. This time we are going to take that last sword trick that we did in the, one of the other uh, previous episodes, one of the more recent episodes, and we're going to add on to it. We're going to catch it instead of in front of us, we're going to catch it, bang, behind our head. So sit back, relax, and let's get into it. I just want you guys to know this video uh, was actually requested by one of you guys out there on my Instagram I if you don't know I have an Instagram I'll leave the title right there somewhere um, I post daily on that whether it's pictures of my life awesome ninja pictures uh, new videos of tricks and combos and weapon play and stuff like that so if you're interested on that definitely let me know and if you are subscribed or I guess following me on Instagram and you see something really cool let me know in the comments of those videos and stuff because that's how I you know know what you guys want to see so if you see some, me do something cool and you want to learn how to do it on my Instagram that's how you can uh, you know get your videos that you want coming out all right guys we're gonna be using my uh, demo sword here for this video now what I was talking about earlier is this is going to be a clip where I do, there's a bunch of clips online and on my Instagram where I do tosses and catch it behind my head, behind my back. So what we're going to do today is we're going to learn what you can do to do this trick. Now first off you definitely need to go and check out the previous sword video, it's the most recent one guaranteed. Uh, it teaches you how to do tricks like that teach you how to do something like that breaks that down if you are already there if you're already advanced if you already know what you're doing then let's get into the next one the next part of this trick so the most important thing is that we still have this smooth circle going now the only difference is instead of keeping it in the center when you spin it so it lands roughly in the same spot you threw it from just like that you're going to throw it and you're gonna move it backwards behind your head because you need the handle to land here behind your head just like that so what you're gonna do is you're gonna do that same flip and you're gonna take your left hand and you're gonna reach yeah my dog's right there sorry about that Jack what's up <laughs> anyway you're gonna take your other hand your opposite hand that's not holding your sword and you're gonna put it behind your head just like this just directly behind your head not too far away not too close behind your head and that's what you're gonna aim for with your handle. Now guys, this will take a couple tries. You will not get this instantly, unless you're amazing, in which case, good job, I'm proud of you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna toss it up, you're gonna reach your hand behind, you're gonna grab it, grab the handle with your extra hand. Just like that. Now, just like I did, I may, you may have to adjust forward to get your hand in the right place, but it's important that you don't flip it too close to your body. If you flip it too close to your body, you're going to end up hitting yourself in the face. You want to make sure it flips behind you. See how I'm swinging it and it goes behind me? This is where you want it to flip. If it flips on your axis here, you're going to get hurt. It has to flip behind you. So one more time. Woo. Just like that. So I'll do it backwards so you can see it a little bit better. Just like that. So once you get it, once you start to understand how the trick works, I want you to do it a couple different times just to kind of practice and get the used to and get used to it because I know all swords can be weighed weighed differently and weighted differently. And so you might ha have to adjust yours a little bit. You might have to lean forward when you catch yours or come back or lean back and do whatever to make it work. But it will come easy as you practice. That is the biggest thing. You have to practice these things. Now, just so you know, I only advise doing this trick for advanced uh, practitioners. If you have been working with sword for a while, this is a good trick to learn. This is something cool that can push you to learn more. But if you are a beginner, if you don't have a lot of experience with sword play or with sword work in general, don't jump into this trick. Start with simple tricks like your tosses or your horizontal tosses, which I can go to go into in a later video. But don't jump ahead too far that's a very big concern because swords are dangerous even demo swords which are designed not to kill you if you mess up can still be dangerous and can still cut you so be very careful at home but 
with all that said i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i love making these videos so until next time don't forget to like subscribe and leave a comment down below tell me what you want to learn next if you want to learn a different weapon or you want to learn the horizontal sword flip tell me what you want to learn next till next time my name is dj moore this is the modern ninja and i'm out i don't know where my dog went